right, it's one o'clock. So everybody, welcome uh, to, we're going to call it Beginner's Dumbbell Workout. I'm going to make sure you can see me. Um, it's a 25-30 minute workout uh, that pretty much anyone can do as long as you've got a set of dumbbells. Actually, a lot of things you can do uh, without the dumbbells as well. Hello, Emma. Um, West. So, you need a set of dumbbells that need a bit of space. Uh, we'll start up, everything standing up first of all, then we're going to do a four minute core blast at the end as well, just for some fun. Alright, we all love a bit of core. So, make sure you are fit and well, as always, to do the workout today. Any underlying health conditions or injuries, please take a miss from this class. You do take responsibility when you're doing the workout in your home. So, make sure it's a safe environment before you start. Uh, we're going to work through a warm up, three minutes, just a body weight workout, um, just a body weight warm up. Then we'll add in a set of dumbbells. If you've got a couple of sets of dumbbells, have them there uh, close because there might be some exercises that you might rather have a heavier work a heavier weight or a lighter weight. For those I know a few of you here have been workouts before and maybe not quite a beginner, you can add a little bit more weight to your workout um, if you like as well. But this one's mainly about technique, getting the basics right, and actually you can still get a really, really good workout doing those basics really, really well. Right, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's get going. So warm up. Set your dumbbells just to the side. We've got three minutes to warm up. Hey, let's go. All right. Hopefully you can hear me. You're gonna start drumming on the spot. Nice and nice and simple. As always, warm ups don't really change. It's all about just getting your heart rate up. So you wanna get a bit more explosive than you can. as well. Okay, bring these up to the front. If you need to as well, take it down a notch. All right, you do not have to be explosive and jumping about. After all, it's a beginner's workout, it's for everybody. And you know what, it's only half an hour of your day. Then your workout is done. You can go back to work. All right, feet outside your hips. Let's squat down. So we want to keep our knees in line with our toes. Side down right here. Bump the toes out. And then we come up and we squeeze our glutes, which is our butt cheeks at the top. Push the knees out at the bottom. Never let them come in. Okay, reverse lunge. Now, some of you might struggle with this one. If you prefer to go forward lunges, push back. Or, other option, go into lunge position and then just go down and up. Down and up. You can do a couple each side and change, or you can do one set, one lunge, one side, and then one other lunge for the other set. Keep it going. Keep it control, keep the torso up, and we're always thinking about our middle. Alright, we want to engage that middle the whole time. Last one. Okay. Back in juggling spot. Now, if you can coordinate your arms and your legs, bring the shoulders around, bring the arms up top of your head. If you want to just stop and tap, you can as well. We're just getting those shoulders warm. Okay, last one. Back slaps. Open the chest up. Last 10 seconds, keep it here. Okay, lose the arms. Five, four, Three, two, one. Stop there. Okay, I'm gonna go through all the exercises. Watch very carefully. I probably will speak quite a bit if you, sorry for speaking so much, but I wanna make sure you do it right. So, first exercise is a squat. You wanna bring your dumbbells in front and just let the warm 
up, down and up. If you prefer, hold one dumbbell, down and up. Second exercise, row. Back is flat, elbows in and back. Elbows in and back. We're pulling back rather than up. Third exercise, reverse lunge, dumbbells by your side. Remember option, forward lunge or split squat. You can have one leg down and you come up and down for one set. Fourth exercise, shoulder press. Come back a bit. Down up, I can do one foot in front of the other to keep my body from not moving side to side. And then, bicep curls. Right, are you ready? You've got 10 seconds to prepare yourself. Prepare your mind. Okay. Get ready. Lift it really down to 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Are we ready? Four rounds. Three, two, one, let's go. Down we come. Remember your options if you prefer. Bring one of those dumbbells at your front. Do not let it come out in front. You do not want your chest to dip. Send your hips back. You've got two set of heavy dumbbells there. Just use one. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Stop there. Okay, in a roll position. So, legs are slightly bent. Hips are back. Back is flat. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze in. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then extend. Do not let this happen. Absolute no no. Keep it back. Yeah, you keep the head up, don't let it dip down. Ten seconds. Stay here. Reverse lunge. If you want to put your weights out of the break, I would probably need it in the next couple of rounds because your arms will get a bit sore. Reverse lunges. All right, I'll go side down here so you can see. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep your arms straight. And reverse lunge back. Make sure a decent gap between your feet. Every single time, shoulders are pinned back. Ten seconds. You might start feeling those legs burn already. Your legs will soon warm up with it. Persevere and stop there. Shoulder press. So, right angle at the arms, elbows are just below the shoulders. And we're going to shoulder press up. Ready? Three, two, one. One, watch the path of the dumbbell as we come up and down. The dumbbell never moves outside the elbow, the line of the elbow. If you put your dumbbell in far too heavy, please just grab one dumbbell and press up and down.
Remember and push those knees out. Two further bring dumbbells in front. Hold them here, but don't let them pull you forward. Three, two, and one. Okay, roll. So then we're going to master, so standing tall. Your legs are slightly bent and you're going to push your bum back. Your back should be flat. Abs pulled in. Arms are straight to start with. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Roll and extend. The doubles are really key here. Keep engaging them. It's going to protect your lower back. Lunge. If you want to take the weight out of the reverse lunge or the squat, you can do. If you really want to focus on your technique. Okay, so like that between your feet. Are we ready? Let's go. Really push forward. From the back and forward. If you're going forward lunges, big push from that front leg and back. Other option, remember, in position, down and up. Alright, whatever works for you, as long as your technique's spot on. Three, two, one, stop there. Okay, this round I want to focus on bringing the dumbbells right above your head. Try and not push away. Okay, if your belly doesn't allow it, Grab just one dumbbell. Are you ready? Let's go. All about control. Again, that was drawn in. We want to protect that lower back. We want to help strengthen it. Five seconds. Three. Two, and one, stop there. Okay, hands facing, the camera, laptop, phone, me, and then we're going to bicep curl up. Slowly down and squeeze your tricep back your arm. Let's go. Done. Notice how it's slow and controlled. all this time on retention, so the more your muscles are, muscles are working, it's not about how fast you do it, it's about the work. Three, two, one, just drop there. Shake it off. Okay. Whew. Round three. Are we getting through the exercises a bit more now? Ready to double up, ready to squat. Let's go. Now, squeeze those butt cheeks at the top, really important. So do I think it's slow down, not bouncing at the bottom. I'm up, a little bit faster than going down. Five seconds. Three, two, one, drop there. Okay. Shoulders back, hips are back, and back is flat. Ready, three, two, one. Squeeze and down. Elbows are aiming back, they're not coming up. Okay, they're going towards the wall behind you. Okay, no one's doing upper body, lower body. We've got little bones of biceps at the end. Three, two, one. 
and there's the lens. Here we go. When you're pushing up, you'll notice the knee here stays in line with the toe. Don't let it come in before you push up. Best thing to do is you're not sure. Do this in front of the mirror. Tell the truth about your technique. If you're not sure, you just get in touch. Three, two, one. Stop there. Okay. Shoulder press. Out to the side. One foot forward. Abs drawn in. Three, two, one. Let's go. All we come. You might find it easier to come this way and press up. Two options. Pick one that works for you. And again, if you're really struggling to get the numbers above your head, you can sit down and do this. Find your bedding chair. Just gives you a little bit more support. Three, two, one. Stop there. Okay. Oh, Hands forward. Facing me. Remember, slow and controlled. Let's go. Then we get to the bottom. This muscle here. Alright, triceps. You want them to work when you come down as well. You want to turn the arms. As long as I can be with you. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. Drop it down. Last set here. How are we doing? Okay, bring the handbells up. Squats. Let's go. Last four rounds and we've got our core at the end. Are we ready for that? Push those knees out. Squeeze those butt cheeks at the top. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stop there. Okay, roll the shoulders back. Legs slightly bent. Hips back, back flat. Arms straight. Alright. Three, two, one, let's go. Pinch those shoulder blades at the end. On every lift. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
Alright, last exercise. Ooh, you might find your forearms start to kick in. Hands up. Let's control that. Three, two, one, go. Up and down. Again, no hips are moving, we're not here and pulling up. Everything's still the only thing that's moving is the lower part of your arm coming to meet your shoulder. Ten seconds. And one, stop there. All right, grab yourself a drink. How are we doing? Oh, sweating. Right, we've got four minutes the last of core. So we're gonna start on the floor, Russian twists. You can use one or two dumbbells for this. Coming down. Slightly back. Okay, we're gonna rotate. Side to side. All right, imagine a rod is going through. Your middle, three elbows through your middle and the other side. Let's go for it. If you wish, you can add a two. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you can lift your feet off the floor. I slightly more advanced. Let's stick to the basics first. Unless you are a little more experienced. If you think the lower back starts kicking, come up, have a little stretch out, and gain them back, and then come back in. Last three here. Three, two, one. Okay, grab one or two of your dumbbells, and then come onto your back. You can hold them down here. And what you're going to do, a little bit of coordination. As your arm comes down, one leg goes down, you can keep your legs bent, or you can straighten them out a little bit more advanced. If you just want to focus on the legs, as in your coordination is not great, don't worry. Bring that leg down and back up. Keep tilting the pelvis up. If you've got that, you can extend the leg. Back up. So your triceps get a little bit of workout, but also that middle. You maybe start to feel this now. Then build the option you can then. Don't go too mad with the weight. Alright, 
come in for a stretch. How do we find that? Stop sweating, it's still a good workout. All right, please stay out for the stretches, only another couple of minutes, and then you're free to go and go and enjoy the rest of your day. So. As always, let me know how you got on. Comment below, message me. Send me your gratefuls, your sweaty selfies. I still get quite a lot of them. And then next week, uh, Wednesday workout is cardio burn. For those of you who join me for the workout for Pride, um, that style of workout, some similar songs as well. So come and join us for all the family. So if you've got kids, get them involved as well. It's really, really good fun. High energy, um, half an hour as well, one o'clock on a Wednesday. If you can't join me at this time, then please play catch up on the YouTube channel or on the Facebook on here. Come up, quad stretch. If you need to hold on to something as well, or if you struggle to get your leg up, find a ledge and just put your leg on that ledge, it be a seat, a sofa. And other side. Also tomorrow morning, I know a lot of the bikes have gone back um, to IC, but I'm still going to do a cycle class, so you can either join in if you've got a bike, or you can save it for another another day where you've got a bike um, to use. But I'll be there 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow morning, shouting away, oh, coming down straight legs. Coming up, last bit. A couple of chest slaps, stretch out the shoulders and the chest, one arm over. Whew. And other side. And finish there. Super well done guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure as always. I just wish I could see you. And um, so yeah, send me your videos and your pictures and that'd be awesome. And remember and say hi as always. So remember next week, well tomorrow cycle um, hit, Friday hit strength, next week same again. And then on the Wednesday it is cardio burn. The week after that I'm gonna do a jab, jab kick burn. So a combat um, style workout, so excited for that. Right, have an awesome day, I'll see you all soon, bye bye.